position or, yeah. or a position where it's benefiting you more than it's benefiting them. People going to feel some type of way, but unless they come and talk to me and we communicate about it and, and to where you get the full understanding about it, I can't really, like, I can't stop my life for, right. you know what I'm saying? No, I feel you, and, and I'm glad we put day, it out there. And to this day, I just hit Brooks yesterday. Like, I'm doing a Spotify documentary. They want to use the music. I want to make sure you get paid for your cut. Let me know your split. Let me know the, even the other boy. I ain't talked to him in years. I want to make sure he get his fair split. Right. I'm always like that. Like, it's no hard feelings. I just, he was just in L.A. We was working together. Like, right. I want to get him on my next album. I just, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying, force you can't it force if it. nobody want to. You right. know, but I know Brooks want me. Me and Brooks are good. Right. Yeah, okay. That's what I was about okay. to say. So how's the level of y'all relationship now? Me and Brooks are good. Like he go with my best friend. Yeah. Um, he good. Like you know they got the dogs over there. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, he good. He um he went platinum with NBA Young Boy. I know he working with um some new some new artists and stuff. We got some new music that we yeah. working on. My boy good. My yeah, boy gonna be straight. That's good. Yeah, shit. I, I fuck with him. He talented and, and he a good he a good nigga. He a good you know guy. What I'm saying? And, yeah. and and he's more than just a producer. He an engineer. He got right. an ear for the sound. And he he dedicate he eats, sleep, breathe studio. So yeah. anybody like that is gonna win, especially knowing that you good in my book. Cause if I win, Brooks definitely gonna win. Right. Mm -hmm. Like so yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. He he was just actually in the studio with me the day before yesterday over him over here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what's up. Um, speaking of, I know you said he was in a relationship with your friend. Your relationship <laughs> is what's going on. I know that over time you kind of like had your little rap away where it was like, ooh, something about these rappers. Okay, mm -hmm. we ain't got to go into details. But you like, you know what? This rap thing, uh, this R&B thing. So mm -hmm. we know that you're in a relationship with Jacquees. Mm -hmm. How was that like dealing with just having your relationship publicly and dealing with groupies and shit like that? Um, it's a little hard, you know, because I mean, it's I've been running my business so long, like my slate so clean mm -hmm. that when I start getting my name like involved in all this other bullshit, I I kind of get irritated a little bit because it's my brand. You know what I'm saying? I work so hard for my brand. I I don't like people like judging my character or what's going on based off personal things. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't really care. You know, like. I feel like Jacquees was, and still is, he a great vibe, for mm -hmm. one. He's a great man. For me, like you said, I was always on the street wave. But I got tired of beating niggas' ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't now be listen. fighting with you yeah. on the middle of 79th out in the yeah. street trying to bust your windows and you trying to pull my hair and I, like, no. We're so not. you was one of them crazy ones, busting no, windows. No, they and... crazy, and it's like, you think you could out-crazy me, and now we both psychotic in this right. bitch, you know what I'm and saying? So, yeah, and they be very toxic. And I think, you know, when I met Jacquees, it was just like, <laughs> it wasn't even that. It was just like, first I was seeing him. He was trying to talk to me. I'm just like, eh, I don't know. Then I started thinking like, dang, Driz, you say you so stressed out. You always say you want a nigga that want to do something. Like, Jacquees is always right. like, let me take you out. Let me just, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck it, let me try it. And I went out with him, and we had fun. Like, we go on all dates. It's, it's mm -hmm. never been us just smoking in the crib we do that too of course because i like to smoke he likes to smoke but we go out like we go bowling we go out to eat right like we find little bars little cool places to just vibe out and just be cool we both in the music i like how he run his business like he got properties and cars yeah. and he take care of his family like a man you know what yeah. i'm saying so it's just a lot of stuff that i saw and i respected in him that is like you ain't even got to be street, because I respect you more for just being yourself. You know what I'm saying? I right. hate niggas that be trying to be tough. Right. So, yeah. Somebody that compliment who you are, not yeah. just somebody who you just loyal and bringing them along. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so you, I definitely feel like he complimented me. He, every time we walk in the room, you know, he got a big presence, but he always put me first. Like, mm -hmm. my lady right here, let my lady sit down. Like, let, You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's just always respect. He and always wanted to meet too. my daddy. He always wanted me to meet his mm -hmm. mama. I met his family. He ain't got no kids. Like, exactly. it was right. just like, too good to be <laughs> true, right. you know? So, <laughs> right. I'm like, let me try it out. And, you know, it was a lot of kinks and stuff, but, you know, I think we always gonna be friends. 
regardless. Yeah, and that's yeah. important. Yeah, and every important. relationship is key. Yeah, it's just what you can balance and what you can deal with because everybody gonna have something going if on. The good yeah. outweigh the bad. That's what I look at. That's what the I look good at. Good outweigh the you bad. Know, you gotta weigh it a little more. I'm no, the, the, the good got no right, but which means it outweighs yeah, the bad. Yeah, which means it got to be more good than yeah. bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I always see it. And you know, sometimes it gets to a point where it, it seems like the bad outweighing the good, but. I don't know. I might need to be single for the rest of my life because I'm crazy. Yeah, I know you're crazy. You on 79th knife busting windows to. and shit. But guys, it's a lot of things these guys need to work on. But I think I got some things I need to work on too. Like, okay, like my daddy say, you know, people will trigger me, but it's how you react to the situation mm -hmm. that you know what I'm saying. And right. I don't know how to control my reaction. Like people do dumb shit. And I'd just be like, what the fuck? Like, Cause look at you now. Like you frowning up. Like you ready to go thinking, there right now. I'm thinking, like, we're gonna need some anger at the end of the motherfucking episode. We're gonna sign you up for a little bit of anger management. I know management. you ain't talking, Mr. Yeah, yelling all the time. He can relate to me. Look, that motherfucker <laughs> is crazy. But I do think that's important. As long as you can recognize, look, it's something I need to work on myself. But I would say before you just be like, let me wash my hands. Just think about other stuff that you can work on too, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and don't just, you know, just. I just think that y'all y'all super cute together. Um, like you said, just the gentleman part. One thing I wanted to bring up, he was having some drama with my fuckers. I'm about you doing my songs with this LMA person, oh, and yeah. I like how you came through and checked the. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you checked like, that bitch. Yeah, Wait, no, don't do I that. like that. No. No. Let me tell you, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to check LMA. Right. Like, I'm going to always be, I'm here for females. Right. Doing yeah, their thing. But, <laughs> but it's just like, uh, just the loyalty in me. Definitely. Anybody I'm around or that I care about or that I see. And like I said, I was there when that happened. Right. Like, I, I saw when she tried to climb on the internet. I'm like, dang, I was there when it happened. Like, yeah. I remember when Tori Lanez was like, bro, you got to perform, what's the song? Uh, Trip. Right. Trip. He was like, you got 